Hello everyone. Today on the screencast, we're going to go over number and we're going to go over metric units. And it's about you converting from one metric unit to another. And it's about dividing and timesing often by a thousand or a hundred. You've got the skills to already pay the bills. You just need to do this enough times to memorize what the conversion rates are. But before we do that, let's look at the metric system. The metric system is an internationally recognized decimalized system of measurement. It is in widespread use and where it is adopted, it is the only or most common system of weights and measures. It is now known as the International System of Units and it's from Wikipedia. Basically, we, well, back in the good old days and still now in England, you use miles. Miles is the old imperial system. And the metric units now are kilometers, liters, centimeters, that type of thing like that. Here are some examples and you need to write these down. So one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So if we wanted to find what one kilometer is in meters, we would times it by a thousand. If we wanted to find out what meters were in kilometers, we divide meters by a thousand. And that's how it works for all of these. So if we wanted to find out what one meter is in centimeters, we times it by 100. If we want to find out what centimeters are in meters, we divide by 100. And last, if we wanted to find out what one centimeter is in millimeters, we times it by 10. If we wanted to find out what millimeters are in centimeters, we would divide by 10. And then we could go through that process again and again and again to find out all of these different lengths. So that is the length. You need to write these down, remember, write these down so that you can refer back to them. Mass now. So we've got one ton or one ton. To find out what they are in kilograms, we'd times it by a thousand kilograms uh, into tons, we would divide by a thousand. One kilogram into grams times by a thousand and so forth and so on. And you can see what we're doing now, can't you? This is mass is often referred to as weights. And last but not least, capacity. So often we're going to go for a litre. One litre is a thousand millilitres. We often refer back to litres here. And one litre is also 100 centilitres. Okay. And one litre is 1000 centimetres cubed as well. Because we're talking about capacity. Things even like backpacks, we would talk about their capacity to hold things. OK, so we're going to use all this information. So it's high, high. I don't highly recommend you need to write these down before we go any further. So you can pause the video now. Make sure you write all these down so you can refer back to them when we go through some of the example questions. Do that now. Come back when you've done that. So now you've done that. Let's go through some questions. So here we go. What's f a one? <laughs> what's 4000 meters into kilometers? So I want you to write your answer down now. What's one? What's 4,000 meters into kilometers? Hopefully you've done that. It's four kilometers because for every 1,000 meters will equal one kilometer. So what did we do? We divided by 1,000 to give us our four kilometers. What about 200, 2,000 grams into kilograms? What would that be? So pause the video, write your answer down, come back and see if you've got it correct. It would be two kilograms because we're dividing by a thousand. Yeah, dividing by a thousand gets us two kilograms. What about 5,000 grams into kilograms? Pause the video, write it down, come back and see if you're right. That would be five kilograms or kgs. Next one, what about 200 centilitres into litres? Convert those now. Convert those. Come back and see if you're right. So if we were going to do that, we'd have two litres because we're dividing by 100, aren't we? Next one up, two tonnes into kilograms. Two tonnes into kilograms. So just think, uh, you know, what we're doing, what is the conversion rate, and Possibly are you timesing or dividing by? Pause the video, write your answer down, come back and see if you're right. So on this one, we would be 
timesing by a thousand to get us two thousand kilograms. And last but not least on this, what's two point five kilometers uh, into meters? So are we timesing or dividing? And what are we timesing and dividing by? So on this occasion, we would be timesing by a thousand, so we'd end up with four thousand five hundred meters. More questions now. You can't beat these questions. These all to go through. Uh, we're gonna. I want you to convert all of these links into centimeters now. Convert all of these links into centimeters. Then come back and see if you're right. So hopefully you had some time. And once you've done that, you can convert the following into liters. And then we'll go over the answers for all of these. So these are all milliliters. Convert all of these into liters. Excellent. So you should have had enough time to do those now. So let's go up to the top ones. Convert the following lengths into centimeters. So four meters would equal 400 centimeters. Nine meters would equal 900 centimeters and 21 meters would give you 2,100 centimeters. What about the milliliters into liters? So we'd have eight liters there, three liters there, and 76,000 milliliters would give us 76 liters because we're dividing all of those by a thousand, aren't we? Now it is time for the quiz. You can't beat a good quiz on a sunny or miserable or any day. It really picks up my enthusiasm for life doing maths quizzes. But over to you, pause the video, give them all a go, come back and see you got them correct. Remember, don't use your notes. Try and do this without notes. It'll tell you what you know and what you don't know, and it'll tell you what you need to work on and what you don't need to work on. So let's go over the answers now. So we had uh, 10 millimetres equals a centimetre, 5,000 grams equals 5 uh, kgs or kilograms. We've got our um, 5 litres here, 5,000 centimetres cubed would give us 5 litres. 20 litres uh, into centilitres, so we're timesing it by 100, which gives us 2,000 centilitres. 2 tonnes into kilograms, 2,000 kilograms, and 9.5 kilograms into kilometres into metres would be 9 1,500 meters. Hopefully you've done incredibly well on those. I'm sure you have. As always, either write a revision card or email me on damien.james.warren at gmail.com if you'd like a copy of all of my cards. Uh, until next time, it's been a real pleasure helping you with your maths today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. You've got a little bit better. And just remember, this one was all about memory. So the more you do it, the better you get. <laughs>